Hi guys, so my financial fast has finished. Frugal February is over. Now this was a very different experience to what it was last year. This time I found it a little bit frustrating to say the least. And I realized that the more frustrated and angry and aggressive I became, the more I blocked and repelled savings and um, the flow of money into my life. And once I learned to stop, calm myself down, recenter myself, an incredible shift happened and a greater awareness and opening up. So I would really love it if you watch this video, watch the vlog all the way through because at the very end of this, I share with you not only my advice if you want to do this for yourself, which I highly recommend, but also what I discovered and what I um, uh, became more aware of and my insights with you and I will also explain to you how this vlog is actually going to continue into a new experiment which was you know discovered and unraveled through my vlogging um, process and journey called manifesting March so if you haven't already please make sure you subscribe and I really hope you enjoy this vlog and don't forget watch all the way to the end because that's where the juice of my wisdom is shared. Hi guys, so it's February, which for me means it's frugal February. This is where I exercise some awareness and some self-control in the way that I use money. I just kind of rein things in for 30 days. Now, this month, February started during the week and I started with a $20 note in my wallet and amazingly, I have changed, not much, but change left. Um, and I didn't go to the bank in that time. Now, it's been a bit emotional. I have, it's been really good. It started off on a great note in that I um, was not using money. I've been eating lunch at home. I've only allowed myself one takeaway coffee per day, um, which is my uh, morning ritual, which I love. I haven't been getting any banana bread or muffins like I normally do. And I've been using the resources around me. So for example, during the week, I had to fly to Melbourne to see some clients. And I went to the lounge and grabbed a quick snack there instead of buying lunch. And then when I was in between meetings, instead of ordering a whole pile of things um, to quickly run on, um, eat on the run, I just only bought a couple of things, um, a juice and um, a chocolate brownie. And that actually kept me going. Normally I'd order like a salad sandwich or and a juice and a coffee and a muffin, um, but it was good. And I, it actually kept me going for the rest of the day was killing it and going so well and thinking I'm going to nail uh, frugal February because I went a bit stir crazy last year. But Friday came and got a parking ticket and it's $108. But I have to kind of be grateful for this because I have overstayed my welcome in some parking spots potentially around my office and haven't been booked touch wood. Um, so far. So I'm kind of taking this with a grain of salt and not letting it get to me. And then I got a text message from my favorite shop letting me know that they're going on sale and items are up to 50% off. And I have resisted temptation um, so far not to go in there, but it's going to be really hard because I had a cheeky look online and a lot of the stuff that I tried on during the year but thought, no, that's too expensive, is on sale and the sales were so this is going to be really hard, but I will report back after the weekend. So Frugal February started on a really good note. Um, on Friday night, I had some girlfriends over. Someone bought a cheese plate. Another person bought some champagne. And another person bought another bottle of champagne. And um, I ordered pizzas. And it was just a really fun, easy night. Um, all our kids playing. Saturday um, I spent a lot of time at home like painting with Rocco in the backyard and I took him to the markets and didn't spend any money which was great and Saturday night I had like a quiet night at home which was really nice and then on Sunday I managed to steer clear of that shop that I'm in love with it's on sale but I had to go to an event and it actually costed a lot a cost I should say a lot more than I expected so it kind of eat it eat eight into the savings I'd created from acting frugally. So unfortunately there wasn't any money I could really add to the thousand dollar project account for this weekend, but new week, new opportunities, new chances of being frugal. I've got to pack lunch um, for work. And this week I want to paint my own toes instead of going and getting them done. So hopefully I can create more savings. 
So I've just had the second workday week of Frugal February and it was a little bit average. I think as I was quite tired and run down, I didn't put enough planning and preparation. I think that is the key to being frugal and saving money. So things like packing a lunch and taking it to work, um, I didn't do every day. But one of the good things, well, I should just say two good things happened this week. I had two realizations of what is great value for money. And one day um, this week, I took Rocco and I was feeling a little bit, not depressed, but I was just feeling a bit flat and down, even though I didn't really have anything to feel flat and down. So I picked him up from um, daycare and I took him to our favorite chocolate cafe. Um, and so he was so excited. I bought him a chocolate cupcake and I ate chocolate, chocolate waffles, which he helped me eat, which is, I know, very irresponsible as a mother. But having him sit on my lap and get so excited and just, you know, enjoy, you know, bonding and talking about his day at daycare and, and um, eating because he's got a sweet tooth like me, it was just really nice. And yes, it was a waste of $14.50, but I really enjoyed that bonding experience and I'm helping create memories. And the other great realization was I went out to lunch with some girlfriends and initially I felt really guilty because I was like, this is frugal February, I should not be going out to lunch with my girlfriends. But I ended up having such an amazing time and you know, for me, girlfriends are oxygen and we had, it was so nice just to chat amongst a beautiful meal and enjoy a couple of glasses of rosé in Sydney's summer, um, which is really hot right now. And I just felt so recharged, re-energized, re-inspired. I even got to meet some new people. And yes, it was a little bit of an extravagant lunch, but I do not regret that money at all. And um, I just got so much back emotionally from that um, expense. So I've had two really good realizations from doing Frugal February. February has taken a bit of a turn. Um, it's something really weird has happened. The more I'm trying to be frugal and save money, the more I'm blocking or repelling savings. And a classic example is on the weekend, I rented my house out on Airbnb, but I forgot to communicate with the person who I normally stay at their house because we've taken turns renting our places out um, and, and staying with each other. They had also rented their place out on Airbnb. So we had to go and stay at a hotel and by the time we paid for the hotel, we paid for room service and getting there, um, we basically broke even. And admittedly, my friend actually paid for the hotel, which was very, very kind of them. But um, another thing happened and then I had to go to the supermarket and I, before I knew it, I spent all this money on one meal at the supermarket. And I'm like, what's going on? Well, I'm trying to be frugal, but I'm trying to be healthy. I, that was such, a, such an expensive meal to cook at home. And then my hair decided, like just hadn't been cut for a while. Um, just suddenly got really, really ratty to the point where a couple of pointed people very politely pointed out that I could probably do with a cut. So then I needed a haircut. Like, oh my gosh, I'm trying, this is actually frugal February, I'm burning through more cash than I normally would. And it felt really unsettling and I was almost getting annoyed and frustrated. I thought, you know what, I'm gonna give up frugal February. This is ridiculous. It's just, I'm getting myself into a deeper, darker situation. Anyway, I went for a walk this morning um, with my dogs and down at Bondi Beach and I listened to my own YouTube video called How to Man Manifest Money. And I realized I am my own block. I am repelling my own money. Um, the flow of cash is a bit like a butterfly. If you try and chase the butterfly, it will never come to you. You're always pushing it away. But if you learn to sit and be calm and still and trust in the universe and trust in that, guess, that butterfly, it's more likely that butterfly will come and flutter its wings around you and potentially you know, rest on your hand or your shoulder or on your, on your head. Um, and weirdest things have just, just couple that have happened. Since listening to that video, and I will link the video at the end of this um, vlog, three things have happened. One, um, uh, a friend um, has just given me a whole pile of food, which will actually cover the cost of um, dinner tonight. Um, I've decided to um, sell something, and I've just had a phone call that it's worth potentially 20% more than what I thought it was. Um, and um, 
Well, anything happened. Oh, I found some money, <laughs> some coins on the floor, and there was another thing that happened. Hmm. I can't quite remember. But anyway, I feel this shift, and I feel um, so much calmer, and um, and I've just kind of I pr practiced on the principles that I talk about in this video, and. I've actually had it also at a very enlightening aha moment and instead of I'm going to obviously continue on with frugal February because I like to do a job properly and take it from the start to finish but this is the exciting news I'm going to do something like I don't know what I'm going to call it but let me know if you have any ideas manifesting March where I'm going to take all the principles that I know about manifesting money and apply it on a 30 day vlog um, for next month and see what magic can happen. Ah, I remember the third thing that I was trying to remember. This morning also I received an email from someone um, who watches my YouTube videos and they said that they really wanted to buy the jeans um, that I wear in my video and that they would tried to buy them everywhere and hadn't had any luck and would I be open to selling those jeans. Now ironically um, I was thinking the jeans were a little bit too torn for my age group and they were looking um, you know I was sort of thinking I potentially need to upgrade my jeans in the next couple of months especially if the seasons turn so I replied back to that um, follower and said I would be t potentially interested and um, and I've said to offer a price so it's amazing when you stop sort of stop and think about doing things differently and what's going wrong and allow a change or a shift to happen because in the space of a couple of hours um, some really wow, amazing and powerful things have just happened so keep watching and keep make sure you subscribe because I'm gonna, definitely going to be doing manifesting March or something like that let me know if you have an idea so I've just had another work week of frugal February and since listening to my video on how to manifest money I'm in such a more positive and empowered headspace I'm at peace with the way money flows in and out of my life um, and I realized I'm not a squanderless person really I actually do use my money quite wisely and doing frugal February February has made me realize that so there's been a really valuable lesson from this I'm ready to embrace manifesting March I'm definitely gonna do this and it's gonna be a vlog so if you haven't already make sure you subscribe and you know a classic example of where I've kind of made peace is I got another parking ticket this week and I'm not someone who gets parking tickets on a regular basis um, I'm not someone that opens it gets parking tickets on a regular basis and I completely forgot I parked in a one-hour parking spot and left my car there all day long um, so I deserve that parking ticket made peace with it and I'm gonna pay it next week and be done with it and it's not gonna um, you know drain my energy source or create a sense of um, animosity or um, you know break my concentration or focus level so be done with it and move on and um, you know another great thing is I realized like I was painting my own toenails to save $15 and I'm not very good at painting my toenails so I grabbed Rocco and went to stuff this and we went to the toenail shop and both got our toenails painted and it was a great $15 investment because he sat on my lap he picks his color he picks my color we have a bit of a laugh together he watches closely as they delicately paint his little toes and it's just a really nice bonding experience so bring on a manifesting March I'm really excited about embracing a space where we attract and build and earn and manifest more flow in our life rather than blocking or shutting down or reducing or limiting the money in our life by being frugal I'm now all about embracing the big and not worrying about the little savings even though they are valuable and they do add up over time but I want to really open our minds and raise our bar when it comes to the flow of money I just had my second last frugal February weekend and I am so glad it is a short month it you know what I actually was really good I spent heaps of time just hanging out at home which is not only really cheap but also really good for the soul and um, playing with Rocco which was great um, and when I did go out I did really cheap things like I went for like walks down to Bondi Beach and um, to Tamarama and just like got out into the parks and the fresh air so I didn't actually spend much money at all however it actually could have been an incredibly expensive weekend because I almost set fire to the house randomly my toaster caught fire and I had no idea and I was giving Rocco this big lecture 
and I turned around and the whole thing was on flames and I have a wooden kitchen so that was really scary but it does mean I need to buy a new toaster. I forgot to mention I bought some boots. I really wanted some boots in the, of a particular style and fabric and I happened to find them. It was a sign they were really reasonably priced but in light of frugal February, I lay by them. So I'm gonna have delayed gratification, I'm gonna value them so much more, and I'm gonna pay them off, and when I pick them up, I'm gonna feel really good about myself. So, a little bit naughty, not exactly frugal, but I've bought wisely, and I know that I definitely need them because I looked for these types of boots last year and couldn't find them. My second last work week of Frugal February, and I've only just realized this really important lesson now. When you're doing this, you need to tell the people around you that you are having a frugal month and you need to own it proudly. The other day, a friend insisted that I had to come to dinner with them, and I stupidly said yes. I should have said no, I'm doing Frugal February, I don't want to pay for a babysitter tonight. I want to spend the night with Rocco and I don't want to go to a restaurant and that was an expensive night and it didn't really need to happen and I'm kicking myself. Also I was supposed to catch up with a friend for dinner and we were just going to have like a dinner at, at their place really simple and easy and cheap but they were tired and didn't want to cook anymore so we had to go out to dinner and again that costed money. I should have stood up and said, no, you know what, let's catch up another time. Um, I'm doing this frugal February thing, trying to save money and be diligent and just not politely said, we'll catch up another time. Ugh, I'm so annoyed at myself. But if you're going to do this, at least you now know to be loud and proud about frugal February. Frugal February has finished. I'm quite happy about this. It's been a great experience and I celebrated Frugal February ending by going out to dinner, but in a frugal manner. I went to my local pub where they had a special on, two meals for the price of one, and I had a delicious quinoa and salmon salad for $12. Now, I don't think I could have cooked dinner for myself last night for $12, so it was money well spent. Now, this Frugal February has been a very different experience to what it was last year. Um, last year I saved around about $1,000. This year I'd say it's probably around $400. I don't know the exact amount yet because I haven't added up, but I will make sure I put it on the Sugar Mama website. But now that I've done this um, experiment again, I wanted to share with you one my advice if you're going to do this for yourself because it is a very interesting experience and experiment. And two, I wanted to share with you what I've learned. So first of all, I'll start with what I've learned. Now, I've realized probably why it was quite hard for me this time to do Frugal February is because I've become a lot more frugal than I was last time. I was already doing a lot of these things, so there wasn't really that much more for me to do in being sort of tight with my cash flow. Um, I have realized, though, that I do still waste a lot of money on food. If I could just cut down my grocery bills a little bit, it would make a huge impact and you know take a bit of I guess stress and pressure off me so I'm actually going to be shooting a video um, which I'm working on at the moment on how to save money on groceries which I know I've done before but I'm going to fine-tune it also um, I realized by doing um, frugal February you've got to have a really positive headspace you can't look at frugal February as going without or neglecting or depriving yourself otherwise it's going to put you into a negative toxic um, depressing headspace. Frugal February is about experimenting, about trying a different challenge, going on a bit of a path, a journey, an adventure, and it's a positive thing because it does give you a much greater sense of you, the way that you use cash flow, what you value, what's important to you, and where you give you that guess that control where you get to be selective on um, how you spend your money because frugal February is not about saying no to everything it's just about being a lot more selective in how you use money and um, which brings me to my second thing is you've got to make sure when you do save money that you consciously shift that money into a separate account so that it doesn't evaporate um, by some sort of other expense that comes your way and then also um, You've got to make sure you're constantly mindful of um, frugal fem February in the way that you spend money. Quest constantly question yourself, is this really worth it? Do I really need to do this? Can I go without? And 
another beautiful thing which I discovered from Frugal February is there are so many great things you can do that don't cost anything. I spent a lot of time um, going for long walks um, with Giuseppe and Sophia that cost absolutely nothing. Instead of going for, for lunches, I just got myself one coffee and no muffins. Um, also, spending time at home is so good for the soul as well as the wallet. Um, you know, that idea of, I guess, minimalizing your schedule and list to do um, is really good for recharging your energy sources, reconnecting with yourself, having that sense of peace and tranquility. And it, what it gives back to you is tenfold. And of course, um, you know, from doing this, I've learned I need to change my headspace, not from being frugal, but into more of a place of manifesting which is why I'm going to bring on Manifesting March, which starts today. And I will be doing another vlog um, on Manifesting March. So stay tuned and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Now, moving on to my advice to you, if you want to have a go at doing through February, which I highly recommend, even though it is a little bit challenging at times. But remember, challenge is where personal growth comes. So number one bit of advice, remind yourself that you are doing Frugal February. It is so easy to forget you're doing Frugal February and say yes to this or go and buy that. You need to remind yourself and also when an expense comes up, look for solutions. For example, say you're parking the car and it's a parking meter. Why don't you drive a little bit further away um, and where there is no parking meter, it's free parking. Things like that really do add up. Um, the next thing is tell people that you are doing frugal February. There are some people I didn't tell and they would ask me to do these expensive activities and um, I'd feel obliged to say yes or make up some sort of excuse. When you tell people you are doing it, they are much more supportive and, um, and will offer solutions as well. So when I told one of my really good friends I was doing frugal February, she offered to look after um, Rocco for me so that I didn't have to pay for a babysitter. And another girlfriend of mine even offered um, to come over and cook me a meal in my own home so that we didn't have to go to an expensive restaurant. The third thing is a um, bit of advice if you're going to do Frugal February is learn to say no. When someone says, let's go out and do this or that or go, go shopping, say, no, I don't want to. I'm doing this thing for 30 days. Um, let's try it another time and really own Frugal February. Be proud of it and you never know, you may actually inspire that person to get on board and do Frugal February with you. Fourth bit of advice, stay away from the shops. It's just going to make it so much harder and you will find things that you want to buy. Classic example is I got an email about one of my favorite furniture shops having a huge massive sale and I thought yeah I'll go and have a look um, I do need to buy an armchair a new armchair for the house I found a beautiful dining table and somehow caught myself convincing myself that I needed a new dining table I do not need a new dining table I should never have even gone to that shop fortunately I exercised my self-control and did not upgrade my dining table but if I never went I wouldn't have even Put myself in that compromising position so do not go to the shops if you do need to go to the supermarket just go in and out do not divert do not go and look in this clothes shop or that cosmetic store it's just going to make life a lot harder for you and then my final bit of advice is again coming back to that whole headspace around frugal february is this is not a way of torturing yourself financially it's about financial enlightenment in the way that you use money in your life so that you have more awareness control and a conscious value system with cash in your life which you can then channel and direct as you choose fit <sighs> anyway I am glad you followed along this vlog I hope that you found it interesting and insightful and don't forget I uh, stay tuned because manifesting March has already begun and it is incredible what has already happened on the 1st of March which is today. I will see you next week on Money Monday or Lifestyle Love. Ciao for now. Bye! Ooh, look at that tongue.